hey guys welcome back to MMI so guys in this video we are going to learn another non-conventional machining process which is known as the laser beam machining process so guys in this video we'll check out the working principle of the laser beam machining we'll check out the what kind of the equipments which is used over here to carry out this laser beam machining process also we'll check out the step-by-step -step working process of laser beam machining also we'll check out the applications where it is used this kind of machining also we'll check out the advantages and disadvantages of laser beam machining so guys this also uh, process also termed as a LBM so guys before going to our today's topic I request you to please subscribe to my ch educational channel MMI which is focused on the engineering aspirants so guys also please press this bell icon so you'll get uh, notifications instantly whenever I upload a new video so guys let's begin with our today's topic that is the LBM laser beam machining process so guys the laser beam machining process is a non-traditional type of the machining process uh, which is a thermal machining process that uses the laser beam to produce heat and guys that uh, produced heat is used to remove the from the surface of the workpiece is used to remove the metal from the surface of the workpiece due to the vaporization basically so guys uh, over here the advantages is that uh, no over here no physical tool is used metallic and non-metallic work pieces can be used can be machined very smoothly and over here cutting and drilling operation can be carried out very smoothly over here in this process so guys let's talk about the working principle of the laser beam machining process so guys first of all the term laser which is only used over here the laser is nothing but the light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation so guys whenever an uh, atom or we can call it as atom is exposed to the outwards energy source or we can call it as a exposed to the energy the electrons absorbs the energy from the uh, outermost uh, energy source so guys this electrons which are in its original energy levels jumps to the high energy level after absorbing the energy so after absorbing the energy this it, this electron becomes unstable and it's released back the absorbed energy in in uh, terms of photons basically so and uh, this particular electron come back to its original state so guys if an atom which is already at the higher energy level absorbs the energy it will emit double energy in return and return to its original state the energy emitted by the atom has the same frequency and wavelength as that of the stimulated energy so guys that was the basic fundamental behind the laser so that is the electron absorbs energy and it gives back up the energy so that is basically the f basic fundamental of the laser so guys the later laser materials over here which is the main uh, key role which is the main uh, main part over here that is the laser material which absorbs the energy from the energy source that is at some extent absorbs energy at some extent and it releases it when it reaches its absorbing capacity and absorbing limit basically so guys over here the high amplified light beam is produced which is known as laser so guys over here this you can clearly see this uh, image the how the laser is gets formed so guys this machining process works on the basic property of laser so guys uh, the laser beam is produced by emitting the photons basically this laser workpiece is in the form of narrow monochromatic high intense light and when that light can cut or machine any of the complex metal and non-metal basically it can cut any material irrespective of its hardness basically so if it is hardened part like uh, diamond we can easily cut the diamond by using this laser beam machining process so basically that was the principle let's check out the what kind of the equipments which is used in LBM process so guys uh, just like the rest of, uh, rest of the non-conventional machining the first one and very essential is the power supply so guys the power supply provides the energy for excitation of the electrons from the low energy level to the higher energy level basically so guys this power supply is connected to the flash lamps so this laser material is exposed 
to the light basically the light is emitted by the flash lamps over here which keeps storing the light energy this flash lamps which is provided on the both sides the next one is the laser discharge tube so in this image you can clearly see this tube so guys the laser material is filled inside that particular tube so guys its one side is partially transparent for emitting out the laser and other side is 100% reflected so next one is the laser material so guys laser material is very important factor which plays a key role over here in this uh, particular process so that is the co2 which is used that is the pulsed or continuous waves or nd yag which can be used as a laser material so guys the co2 which is used over here in this laser material which emits the light in the uh, in the infrared region basically and it can provide it up to 25 kilowatt of power in a continuous wave mode and 5 kilowatt something in the in the normal wave mode or discontinuous wave mode that nd yag which is also called as neodymium doped yatri uh, yatrium aluminum garnet which is nd yag which is its commercial name it is a solid state laser basically and it can deliver the light through the optical fiber cables basically it can deliver the light through the optical fiber the 15 of the 50 kilowatts of the power it can uh, provide in the form of this pulsed mode 50 kilowatts in the form of pulsed mode and 1 kilowatt in the form of continuous mode so guys that is the basically this modes are that is the formation of the laser that is the continuous or the pulsed the next one and the last one is the focusing lens so guys this focusing lens which is like these are the complex convex type of lenses which is placed over here this 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 focusing lens is used in the laser machining operation so <coughs> the main function is to focus at the the rays on the basically at a single point on the workpiece so guys let's check out the working of the lbm laser beam machining process basically the first one is the gas is get filled inside the laser discharge tube the gas that is the co2 gas basically which is used over here in this uh, machining process then the power supply is gets switched on which is the which is connected to the flash lamps over flash lamps the lamps produces the light energy which excites the electrons of the atom that is the uh, the laser material which excites the laser material basically so this leads the jump of the electrons from the low energy level to high energy level so guys this is very essential that is the energy level of the electrons this parameter is very essential in the lbm process so the atoms becomes unstable at high energy levels and this energy initially blind up in the laser material so when the atom absorbs the sufficient energy it starts emit the energy continuously in the form of laser so guys this laser light is collected by the focus lens that is the convex shaped lens and directed towards on a point on the workpiece so guys the vaporization takes place due to the formation of the heat on the surface of the workpiece and the machining occurs over here in this case so guys next one is the application of lbm so laser beam machining is used to drill small and small diameter accurate holes that is of about 0.005 mm in ceramics as well as in um, refractory materials it is used in cutting and drilling both metals and non metals the most extensively used in electronic and the automotive industries cuz the complex shapes we can easily cut by this lbm process it is also widely used in aerospace industries so it can be adopted by a lot of uh, aerospace engineering uh, industries i have adopted this kind of the laser beam machining process so guys that was the applications now let's talk about the advantages and disadvantages of laser beam machining process so guys uh, whenever we talk about the advantages it can cut all the materials regardless its of the hardness the no tooling cost as there is the no physical tool is required of course the surface finish is very high having high accuracy the micro holes can be drilled very accurately and very easily over here in this case 
and it can produce the complex shape geometries very easily we can also carry out the machining on very hard or hardened material it can be also uh, automated this process can be also automated when we talk about the disadvantages is the high initial and the high maintenance cost over here so that is the main disadvantages over here the laser can leads to leads to safety hazards basically also the process is slow and takes a lot of time so guys in this video we have uh, we have seen the all about the laser beam machining process so guys uh, i hope you like my video if you like my video please leave like hit like comment and share my video also guys don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel mmi channel engineering channel so guys please do subscribe to my channel mmi thank you for watching this guys please subscribe